we're back at Silver Dollar City. Look at that view. There's wildfire out in the distance. Here comes our shuttle to take us back. Fields here. Wait, what does it say? It says McCoys what? only. Boys? McCoys. The Hatfield and the McCoys. McCoys only? Yeah, they had a big feud a long time ago. I thought it only said boys only. There's the blacksmith. Funnel cakes. I don't know. Brown candy factory. <laughs> they make fudge in here. Budge. I was getting nervous going up that hill. Mm -hmm. We're heading to Thunderation. There's the blown glass factory. Someone lives there. Well, that's where they make glass. Here, you want to look in, inside? See what they're doing in here. See, see how they're doing that with okay, so kind of a small, uh, tall, slender bottle shape. And that, uh, all that stuff the makes the these right here. Look at that. They make these. The all this glass here. Alright, we just got off Thunder Ration. What'd you think? <laughs> that was a pretty fun ride. It's like a mine train. Alright, let's go. Oh, get in my belly skillet. Get in my belly. We want this. What do you think? You want that skillet? Yeah. No, but I do. <laughs> Wouldn't be a trip to Silver Dollar City without one of these pictures. Going on the country or county prison mine. The unlucky silver mine. On the ride. That was crazy. Caleb, how'd you do? Let me see your score. Good shooting, partner. These guys out there. Patriotic walkway. There's the amphitheater down there. What? See, there's the. You can kind of see it through the trees. is the moment you've all been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, let me hear you make some noise! For the world famous, Harlem Globetrotters! Here we go! Bring it together, over the backboard. A 10, a 9, a 9! A great score! But, we still have one more. My favorite, Team Tutal! What's it all? You want to see my trick shot? Yeah, what you going to do? Slam dunk! You can't dunk! Tutal is only 5'2", but let's see what he's got. Tutal, Tutal. Is this possible? 
What did we just watch? Uh, wow. I don't know. We just went to the Harlem Globetrotter experience and it was really good. March. I think we went on this last time we were here. It's kind of like a Dumbo. Alright. It took us like 10 minutes to find a bathroom. I will say, if you're coming to Silver Dollar City, Prepare to get lost, because these paths are not marked well at all. Are these paths marked well? You can't find your way around at all. No matter if you have a guidebook or not, it's a maze. But anyway, we're going to see what powder keg looks like. Hopefully we can get on that. The line for the powder keg. Here it comes. Oh, there was no, there was no fireball. What? Was, you can have ostrich jerky, yak, alligator, <laughs> wild boar, kangaroo, wild buzzard. Oh, no. uh, look, there's camel, buffalo, deer, elk. I don't know about that. What do you think, Caleb? I didn't want any of them. All right. The uh, park's starting to fill up now. It's about probably 3.30. So I guess we're about peak capacity at the moment for today, which is still not. Yeah, we still got a couple hours, but it's hasn't been bad at all today. Yeah. All right. So, hot? Not. We got fuel it. Okay. Fuel it. We're getting the uh, campfire skillet. Oh my gosh. I could eat all of that right now. And this fuel is what it. we've been waiting for all day. Not me. Silver Dollar City skillet. I didn't wait for It's time to feed. You may think that's mac and cheese, but it's Caleb's cheese fry. And something very strange, we walked up here and you can see that it's very slow today, but on every table, there was like change. So we made like 76 cents just by walking up here. I don't know if I'm supposed to take this money, but on every table there was like some change on it, which I thought was very odd. Let me go look and see. Caleb's gonna run through the water. While I avoid the water. Are you gonna do it? Uh, I didn't avoid the water. 
Turn it, Bob, turn it. Just turning it, making the frogs do something. Are they supposed to be moving? <laughs> this is a ride you will never see me on, because I will throw up. No, thank you. We're going to go on the silo. Caleb, what do you think? <laughs> yeah. do it. Alright. Help me and you. We're not going to do this today, but maybe, maybe next time, right? Yeah, it's about a 30 minute wait, so we don't really want to do it. Here, stand right here, let me get a picture of you. Only in Missouri is this an attraction. <laughs> Anything come out? Yeah, I need some milk. I'm thirsty. You're welcome. <laughs> Caleb is doing the robot to country music. I don't know if that's illegal. <laughs> What do you think? We're going to go on something I've been avoiding all day, and that's Hill Street. Because this is quite a hill. Let's do it, Caleb. This is great for the calves. Yeah, we're going to the Great Boy's house. According to Jim Hunt, Daniel Boone nearly killed a grizzly bar on this spot in 1882. You think that's true? No. Caleb, are you holding something in your hand? No. That's a lie. Well, we had an awesome time today. It was not too crowded. It wasn't that bad. It's really humid, but the temperature is not bad at all. You heard me. We didn't get to you do the. Ate that. <laughs> we didn't get to do the cave, but we can do that next time. But we had an awesome time. Yep. And we don't know where we're going. We don't, I don't know where I'm going at all. How do we get out of here? This, as I said before, you can't find anything around here. Goodbye, so we're down city. I mean, it's so much. No, it's hot outside. Very hot outside. Okay. We are waiting for the truck.